Uh, what's up, guys? Xenon. And, uh, yeah, okay, good, I got something. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing a Zergling kind of beginning tutorial, and I guess the map is on, so that's what it's gonna be on. And, um, sec. Oh, you guys don't mind that. I'm just gonna play soft jazz in the background. But, uh, basically, with Zerglings, uh, start off crittering, you're gonna want to split them up. It's just faster, easier, you'll get more XP no matter what. I've had one. And, um, you're just gonna have more XP, more money, and then eventually that'll just lead to you getting more money faster because you'll be able to crit these these three patches faster. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ping those. Simple hero attack etiquette. See a hotkey one, and so this one's gonna come up here. This is on my two hotkey, and I just like to keep my like the two hotkey on the left because it's easy to remember. And my three is just gonna come over here, and the way to switch between these is just double tap that hockey. See, I'm just double tapping two, and then three, and then two, and then three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be pulling this one here, my number three ling, to these cans, and I'm gonna bring it down here and pull those here. I'm gonna be pulling these to here, and this will let me get all three right off the bat. Let me see. Exactly. This guy doesn't even know. And uh, so yeah, and I like how it's at one minute now, so you don't have to wait a while too. A lot of good changes haven't happened lately. And so you just gotta be kind of fit fast. Like, you're gonna take some damage like that, but that's alright, as long as you keep microing them back around the cannons a little bit. And this one can come down. As, and then, as long as they're in a 10 unit range, you're gonna get the XP. So, your Ling doesn't have to, like, babysit it. Like, I can make it run over here a little bit and, uh, do whatever. Even though that Corruptor's gonna take it, it's alright. And I just know that's coming. Ooh, that was a little bit late. So you just have to constantly be changing a little bit. Okay. Just like that. And the first level I like to get is usually links. I mean, uh, uh, spawn links. And what you do is right away is just turn those on autocast. And you see right there, that's another thing you can do. If you can pull it into the wave, like I just did, um, that's spectacular. Okay, this carrier is coming. So if they ever charge in like that, I usually like to attack them because most new players don't know how to deal with that. And so, uh, I just like to attack them and it kind of spooks them and then they usually run away. And what you saw me do right there was I don't have enough links to be able to kill it, so I'm just going to keep pulling it to the cannons. And usually, right when one about one gets low, because usually one will get low and one won't, I'll, I'll use the hockey on it and I'll send it back. And the first thing I'm going to buy, if you have 200 or more, buy Frenzy. Frenzy is the best, your best go. But if you have less than 200 when it gets low, buy some creep timbers. Let's go ahead and buy them up. And four is fine. And then. So, the next skill you're going to get is going to be speed. So, go ahead and buy speed. Because you're going to want to be fast crittering around. So, first, I'm going to put one down here. Just use my hockey. And now, you can kill him. Now that you're, both your links are together, you're fine. And what you want to do is, you want to set your creep along where you're going to critter. So, I'm probably going to come up here. Ooh, Corruptor, let's see if you can trap him. And if, if you can get an easy, especially on island right here. Like, if you can get an easy gank like I just did on this carrier, he's going to die. Like... You can do just easy stuff like that to get really far ahead. Because now if you look at the levels, I bet I'm ahead of everybody else. Yep, I'm level 2, almost level 3, and everybody else isn't even close to that. Another thing you want to do, on island especially, keep control of this tower, no matter what. If you're ever critting over here, and you see they have it, or you see it's not bald, go ahead and buy it. That will give you so much vision, and just down the line, you'll be better. Where's my other lane? Oh, it must have died. It's fine. And there we go. And you see, I'm just gonna put down these. I haven't, I haven't even come over here in a while, so it's important to just keep thinking about it. And three critter patches is efficient up until about 12 minutes, or 12 minutes. Yeah, that's about right. So what you're gonna want to keep doing is, why is this dying? Oh, that's why. Um, that's that was pretty bad. But you just want to keep crittering until 12 minutes. And if you ever see them push up to like here, or here, just go ahead and gank. Just help your team out. I mean, um, you might get a kill, which will give you huge XP boost. You might get uh, some more XP just from killing off the zealots in the lane, stuff like that is really, really crucial. And if, you have, if your links ever get low, you're usually set anyway because you can get Q if you're really feeling it. But that's looking good. This corruptor's pulling. He he shouldn't be pulling because he I need the XP. But crap, I missed that one. Let's see if we can gank. Nah, nah, nah I can't. He's too close to cannons. It's all about judgment. You don't want to lose too many links. I mean, early game, it's all right. But you don't really have a lot of mana to waste if you're trying to critter and hit the patches. Because you really... You want to put as much pressure on as possible without losing any XP. And, see, that's, that mistake I did, had over here was pretty bad. So I'm probably going to miss this patch. 
EC, missed it by like two seconds, which is it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you do that a lot, it's not very efficient. So that's why you see like some most in house housers know just to keep critting with links really late because links are the best critter in the game. I mean, you can get four patches and just keep critting those all game, and eventually you're gonna be so fed that nobody else can touch you. So right now. I have 500 minerals, I'm looking pretty good level wise, I'm pretty much fed more than everybody else in the game. So, I just keep, like I said, just keep leveling W and R, and I'm going to send this weakling back, because it's the lowest. I'm going to buy Frenzy, and I'm going to buy Vampirism. And those two are going to let my lings just live longer in general. Okay, now I'm going to buy. Frenzy is the most go-to item, and then Vampirism. And send them back. I really don't need any more creep tumors at this point, because I already have them set up. And if they had anything cloak, I may have gone an overseer or two there, but I didn't really notice anything worthwhile. This corruptor's doing a good job dealing with cute. Okay, same thing. Just pull down here. And you want to start where they have the best chance of pulling, if that makes sense. So, as you saw earlier, that uh, they were pulling this critter right here. You want to start there, because that way you can just get out of the way and then come critter the easy ones later on. And look, this sentry's getting low. I'm going to go for him. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm ahead. I just bought some items. The stalker can blink, so I can't really surround him as well. I'm going to get... Even if you lose a ling too, it's still worth it. Like, I lost a ling there, but that's all right. And watch. Another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to snipe this pylon in a second. So I'm going to take this critter patch, because I know there's somebody crittering. Yep, there he is. It's you, Mad. And, but I'm going to take this cannon, too. If you just kill the pylon, all the cannons become void. And that's what you usually do whenever you start landing with Ling. And he's going to come back, so I'm just going to come back to Crittering. Because you see it's not 12 minutes yet, so I can still do it. And even when it's 12 minutes, if you're down a Ling, it's still kind of worth it to uh, just keep Crittering whenever you're down a Ling. Because it just gets more XP in general, because they're shared. And then, so now that this Ling is back, I can buy this, which is just gets more life, and Venom, which is good for ganking. At least this is my build. I like to get Venom. Some people don't, but... Tomato, tomato. And then the first buy I'm going to get is wings, especially because I can exploit these cliffs now. Like, watch. Now, the thing with wings is, you see how not all my lings ran around? Um, after level 7, the all the lings that spawn after level 7 get the wing ability, not not before. So, um, you got to be careful with that. See, I'm going to lose another zerg there. That's alright. I mean, I can use that to buy stuff at the shop, and nobody got XP from it, so it's alright. I got to the point where losing a Zergling isn't as big as a deal as you think, because you still get shared XP. That's the main difference between Zergling and all other heroes, is that you can still get XP when one of them dies. So what I'm going to buy now, this, this, I'm going to select one, which moves that one over here. You see there's nothing there. And just keep bringing it around. And we're starting to get in the mid-game, so I'm going to stop the video here. But that's basically how to get off to a pretty good start with Ling. And, uh... So, until next time, this is Xenon, tapping out.